representing Team Underground. A professional record of eight wins and only two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas the Juggernaut Paul. Representing Ronin MMA. A professional record of six wins, only two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one more time in the red corner, Joe Silk Cummins! Joe Silk Cummins back in the UK after a stint over in South Africa, winning the EFC lightweight title, which he vacated. Now here he is, catch weight 163, taking on Thomas Paul, eight and two from Team Underground. I've known Joe Silk coming since I've been involved in UK MMA. He was training the guys at the old UTC. Now he's on, t now he's gone on a journey of his own, his fight career taking him to Africa. Back to Wolverhampton, and rumor has it that one Mr. Sean Shelby might be watching this, so there could be a great deal of pressure on Joe Cummins' shoulders right now. Absolutely, yeah, but you wouldn't be able to tell. He looks calm as he's, uh, he's come out here as uh, Thomas Paul pressures him early. Yeah, Thomas Paul, very, very thick upper body. Looks, look, looks, looks a bit of the heavier of the two. Yeah, definitely nice shot there landing from, uh, from Joe Cummins. Joe's but Joe, you know I mean, he turned pro in, in 2014, and although he's only had eight fights, he's super experienced, trained with some fantastic guys. I know he trained with the, uh, the Renegade lads as well. Um, obviously, he had his time at UTC, like he said, and he's just always looking to evolve and get better as a fighter. He said he wants to be active this year and get a number of fights under his belt, and this is the first of hopefully many. Yeah, he's, he's got a mean streak a mile, mile wide in the cage. Just just silk. Uh, I've, seen any, I've, I've seen all of his fights. I've never had the privilege, uh, the pleasure of watching him live before. And I'm really looking forward to it. his footwork is phenomenal. Thomas Paul giving him something to think about, though. That kind of I'm coming forward, I'm big, and I'm going to keep hitting your attitude. Absolutely, yeah. He's, uh, he's in the, the face of Joe Silk Cummins early on and not giving him any real space to breathe. I mean, air, oh, oh a nice. lovely shot there. Left hand by Cummings. Like everything about, everything about Thomas Paul seems thick. He's got thick, thick, heavy thighs, thick, thick upper body. Just a strong looking guy. Yeah, and he, uh, he landed a, a nice flurry of hooks there that landed on the head of, uh, of Joe Cummings. Is this like the, is this like the equivalent of the fighter versus the boxer? You know, you got Cummings technically superior you, you would think or it shows it but that makes no odds when someone's throwing monster elbows at you from the bottom <laughs> absolutely like trying to get you to try, pushing up your head and slashing elbows yeah it was a nice level change from uh, from Joe Cummins but Thomas Paul looking to be active off his back like you say just forcing that head up and landing those short nasty elbows they can cut you quite easily and they hurt <laughs> Joe's still in, Silk's still in control. Trying to get that chest to chest. Sand strong. Great big scramble there by yeah, Tom Pine. Strength. Silk though, doesn't look perturbed. I know he's got a heavy guy on him, but started to get his back up against the cage. He'll have been here a million times. Absolutely, there's some blood here from, uh, I think it's uh, from, from Thomas yeah, Paul. Yeah, it's from the eye. So just controlling the posture. Oh, he's, he's got on the eye. Oh, the yeah, looking for the guillotine there, but hand down. No. And Silk up. Use that, uh, use that front headlock choke there to, uh, to get back to his feet and then turns the corner nicely there on the takedown. You can see a small little hematoma on the forehead of Joe Silk Cummins where those elbows started to land. Just a little swelling starting to come up, I think on the right side. Yeah, it's a strong position on the back. He'll look to get the hooks in and... You are, he'll need to get the hooks in. One thing that Tom's Paul's shown is that he's an incredibly strong athlete and very explosive, so you're, you're going to want to tie him up and... See, look, uh, and, uh, and he tried, and Silk followed, and now he's got this him is a dangerous out. position. 
into Wisely the mound. turns back into the mound. And great work by Tom Paul. Pull, gets him back in the half guard. This is probably not where he wants to be, but he was in a much worse position a moment ago. Yeah, he, uh, he transitioned really uh, effectively and smoothly there from uh, from being flattened out on his back to back into uh, uh, regaining the half guard. Still going after that throw it again. Oh, that guys. looks tight. Is he going to do it standing? That's nasty. There's and the tap. tap. Joseph Collins wow. makes it look easy. The referee stopped this contest at 4 minutes 36 seconds of the very first round. To the winner, by a guillotine choke, Joe Cena!